Howdy, I'm Luna, and today we're going to be exploring some art in EverQuest 2. Today's artwork is titled Itaharn's Timorous Deep Inn. The owner is Itaharn, and the decorator is Miracle. Its address is a lower tenements in Timorous Deep, located on the Skyfire server, and it is currently not published. Let's get right into it. So here's some information about the house if you need it. It's not published at the moment. And Itehard, if you have seen my other videos, is an alt of Gerald Blue. We've already uh, toured a house done by Miracle. It was Itehard's Lofty Repose, and it's a Garowin 4 room. And this is a Garowin 2 room. Okay. So let's take a look. go all right so we got a front room <clears throat> Ooh, i like that painting that is a detailed i never really looked at that painting what painting is that okay so i was actually chatting with Shanette last night um i apparently don't look at the paintings like ever i'm always focused on the frames like how can i use the frames what can i do and i never take a look like these paintings are beautiful at that it's just nice okay so <laughs> we got a zombie head over here on top of the glacial pillars got some frost fell candles and things over here hello fana how are you <laughs> here we go let's take a look at this painting because again i've only ever looked at the frame interesting good never even noticed there's eels in this Beautiful. Okay. There's another zombie head. Ah! It's a duck! Frozen! In the glacial pillar! Hello, frozen duck! And a magic reindeer, which is obviously floating because it's magic. <laughs> oh my goodness. A poor duck. Let me look out the window here. I don't know if I've ever been in a two room like this. A Gorowin two room. I really need to do more stuff with Gorowin houses. I really do like them. All right, let's take a look at the second room. Oh my gosh, I see lava. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, this is something I should point out for people. So this these candles have a little bit of a glitch. If you watch, I was seeing it when I was over there. Maybe it won't do it now because I'm looking at it. But they were... Some of the candies were kind of floating over by the door, but it's from these candles here. It's just a glitch. It just kind of, sometimes the candies will float in other places of the build. All right, let's head on in here. Ooh, so this is almost kind of like a holiday house, but that's kind of how Jiro's houses are. It's just a little bit of all the holidays kind of mushed together. So Miracle just kind of emulated that style a little bit. So we got, I love this lava wall, but the clock in front of it actually looks really cool because look, the clock has like a fiery thing going. This is a, wait, what clock is this? Draconic. Oh yeah. So that makes sense why it would look good. It's a dragon in front of fire. Of course it looks good. So we got a little fire tornado over here. Oh, a jack-o'-lantern. Wait, no, is this a, this is just a pumpkin. Okay. Got a teleporter right here. I like this. I like this with the little candles. Does this guy do anything? No, he doesn't. Got another window. Gorowin window back here. That's cool. And another window right there. Okay. It's a nice, simple little house. I like it. I feel like Miracle's uh, art style, at least for the houses that they have done for Gerald Blue, is just simple and uh, and efficient, and like use purposeful. That's the word I was looking for. Purposeful. Yeah. Very nice. Oh wait, is there anything back here? <gasps> Ooh, 
I found the house portals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's actually let's say goodbye in front of this. I just love this wall. Very pretty. All right, thank you for joining me for another one of Gerald Blue's houses. Uh, this one, of course, done by Miracle. And I cannot wait to join for y'all to join me in the next one. Bye!